Hi, I'm Mel's Bax Friend, and this is my first top 10 video. I really don't have a name for a series yet. Let me know in the comment section below if you have a good idea for a name. So, this is a top 10 video. And I hope Nintendo watches this video because it's top 10 things I want Nintendo to do. I know they're a great company, they've done so many great things, but there are also some things I want them to do they haven't done yet. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. Number 10. So this goes into... This goes into the way how SD cards are read on Nintendo consoles. It only supports the outdated MBR. I want GPT support. It'll be good for when there are SD cards bigger than 2 terabytes, so those ones won't be able to be partitioned as MBR. Because MBR goes up to 2 terabytes as... It's a 32-bit partition map, meaning the maximum value for 32-bit in logical sectors is the maximum size. And, and if you convert that number from logical sectors to bytes, and then from bytes to terabytes, it's 2 terabytes. And also... So yeah, that means I want Nintendo to be ready for 4 terabyte SD cards. Or 3 terabyte if they break the standard. And let's see, what else? Uh, yeah, I want Nintendo to be ready for that. That's number 10 on the list. Number 9. Theme support on the Switch, just like what the 3DS had. Remember the 3DS's theme shop? That was cool, wasn't it? Well, unfortunately, the Switch has nothing like that. I would love to have like a Pokemon themed background on my Switch. I would just love that. Or a Mario themed background, or a Smash Bros themed background, or even, I don't know, a Splatoon themed background. Number eight. The improved 4K Switch you've been telling... When I say you, I'm talking to you, Nintendo. You've been telling third-party developers to get ready for. To have... Specs that are up to par with other ARM devices from around whenever it gets made. What I mean is... Try making it have similar specs to Samsung's newest phone at the time. Please. It will make you more money, even though it will cost more to produce. Because more people are going to buy something that's going to be able to run more games. And you know, that means you could also add back some more retro consoles. Number 7. Okay, I have a personal story about number 7. Remember a time you banned me for replacing my console's EMMC? Yes, I'm that person. I'm PSVT Dev. You know, the person who has that Nintendo account called PSVT Dev. And remember how I got mad at you for that? I told you my Switch is serial number and MAC address and you unbanned it? That was nice. I want you to be nice like that all the time. Please never ban people for repairs ever again. That is a really bad thing to do. And I don't want you becoming Apple. Please don't become Apple. I know Apple bricks devices that, that other people try to repair sometimes. I don't want you becoming Apple. Please don't. That's actually illegal from what I've heard. I don't want you becoming that kind of a person. I don't want you doing illegal th I mean, not person, company. I don't want you to be becoming the kind of a company that does illegal things like that. Like, that'd be being a hypocrite, actually, because, you know, you sued Team Executor for doing illegal things, and some members of Team Executor got arrested. Yeah. So I'd be hypocritical if you did that. Number six. This one could get controversial with those of you who aren't working for Nintendo watching this. Someone other than Sakurai to take over Smash Bros. Someone who actually knows how to manage their time better. So that way Sakurai can get what he wants and we can get what we want as well. 
I know Smash Bros. might be pretty different then, but still. It'd be for the better, I think. Number five. Ooh, this is a pretty, you know... A, what's the word for it? Common one for people to say. Super Mario 3D All-Stars to be forever. Listen, I have a personal story about this one. I grew up playing Super Mario Sunshine. When I was little, I would only play Super Mario Sunshine. It was the first video game I ever played. And I want to always have people be able to download it. And also, two other iconic games, 64 and Galaxy on my Switch. Like, my dad really likes 64, and my brother really likes Galaxy. So yeah, it'd be perfect to have the game be forever. Like you could just, I don't know, say that, say on, say when you would have discontinued the game that it was just April Fools, because you know you said it'd be by the end of March. So you could just say that it was April Fools. Number four. Don't immediately say no when I say this. Save data cloud for all games. Now here's why you shouldn't say no to that. I know what you're thinking. That would allow cloning exploits in a lot of games. Well, here's the thing about that. What you could do is you could have all the people who make games like that and if the games are made by you, implement them in your own games. Implement something in the game that, that you know, reads buffers of bytes from the save data into memory Checks their SHA-256 checksums. If any two buffers of memory have have matching checksums, delete one of them from the save data. However, that may work depending on the game. Because I know it would vary based on how the game works, like whether or not there's encryption in that portion of the save data or not. That could determine it. Okay, number three. Ooh, this one kind of has to do with my future plans. Okay. So... I am working on a program called PSBT PKM in addition. Like a computer program. It's going to be for Linux. Where it's going to do something you might think is copyright infringement at first. However, I know you like to be copyright tools. Let me just tell you, I'm going to do as much as I can to avoid copyright infringement and still do what I want. It'll be a tool to get Pokemon in real life. Please do not sue me for it. I do not want to be sued for things that are trying to avoid copyright infringement as much as possible. I do not want to be sued for that. So please don't sue me when it comes out. Like, you'll be able to look at my GitHub and see if it's there or not. Please don't sue me when it comes out. Okay, number two. Hmm. Another one that ties into my favorite franchise of games. That beloved franchise of games that's the second most love of your franchises. With number one being Mario only because it's older. Or at least I think it's only because it's older. That's up to debate. But yeah. So. Why is it that your most loved, why is it that your franchise that's the most loved all throughout the world has user icons on the Switch, but your second most doesn't? Why are there no Pokemon user icons on the Switch? It baffles me. Why would you not do that? I think you should release a massive update, like update version 11 that changes that. Have it, and also obviously have it be a fuse burning, custom boomer breaking update like always. But yeah, you, so here are the icons I want, both Pokemon and Trainers. Specifically, this would be pretty big, like I want you to make up for what you would have done with Let's Go, and also do Sword and Shield. So I want, I know this could be quite a while of designing icons doing this, but still, I want this. Okay, so... I want the default male trainer from 
Let's Go, the default female trainer from Let's Go, and the rival from Let's Go for the trainers from Let's Go. And for Pokemon, I mean, these Pokemon are in Let's Go, but also in Sword and Shield. But what I want for Pokemon is I want Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur, Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard, Squirtle, Wartortle, and Blastoise. And let's see, what else? Now, I'm just going to say all the Pokemon at once, I decided. For the other Pokemon I want, I also want... Pichu, Pikachu, and Raichu. I also want Eevee, Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon, Espeon, Umbreon, Leafeon, Glaceon, and Sylveon. I also want... Let's see here. What was I saying? I'm sorry if I mispronounced some names. I don't know that much about Gen 8 Pokemon name pronunciation. I'm sorry if I mispronounced some names. You probably know what I'm trying to say. Grookey, Thwacky, Rillaboom, Scorbunny, Raboot, Cinderace, Sobble, Drizzile, and Inteleon. Now, is that too much to ask? Oh, wait, no. Also, for trainers in Sword and Shield, I want the default male trainer, the default female trainer, and Hop. And let's see here. What else? Oh, yeah. I know what you might be thinking. That would be... That would be something furries would love. I mean, I myself am a furry, and I'm attracted to one of the Pokemon I said, specifically Vaporeon. However, I do not think that... Just avoiding those things is a good idea. What you can do instead to avoid furries getting excited is add stuff to the censorship list. Like, I don't know, add the word furry to the censorship list. You've added stuff to the censorship list before. Like, you added the word COVID to it recently. So, yeah. That's what I wanted to say. And now the number one thing I want the most out of all these things I said, number one on my list, a lot of people are going to agree with me about this, and a lot of people are annoyed that Twitter doesn't allow talking about this anymore. A lot of people are annoyed about that. Number one, I want a national dex in Pokemon Sword and Shield with either updates or a continued DLC. And I want the games after that to also have national dexes. You know what? I want the national dex to be back in there to stay. It'll make more people happy. Like, Sword and Shield were number two for most pre-ordered games in 2019. They would have been number one if it weren't for a dexit. You know exactly what I mean when I say dexit, so don't play dumb and say, What does dexit mean? You know exactly what it means. There are people talking about it a lot. You know exactly what it means. You know it means the lack of those Pokemon. Okay, so this is a message not to Nintendo, but to my viewers. What did you guys think of my first top 10 video? Leave a like, comment, subscribe. St stick around for more awesome Mel's Backstrand videos. Like... I do a lot of computer tutorials and hacking tutorials and glitch compilation videos. You know, stuff like that. I actually haven't done glitch compilation in a while. And also even some experiments. And my own personal stuff as well. I really gotta start promoting my channel more often. That will help me grow a lot more. This is Mel's Back's Friend signing off.